in law session we have seen about the minors and the cofactors of an element in today's session let me see about the cofactor matrix or joint matrix and inverse matrix now first we will see cofactor matrix cofactor matrix what do you mean by cofactor matrix if you replace the elements of a square matrix by its cofactors replace the elements by its cofactors whatever matrix you are getting is called as cofactor matrix a square matrix a square matrix in which the elements are replaced by its cofactors replaced by its cofactors is called is called cofactor matrix a matrix obtained you can write in other way also a matrix obtained by replacing its elements by its cofactors then that matrix is called as cofactor matrix now let me see suppose a is equals to a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 is the given matrix of order 3 by 3 then its cofactor matrix so cofactor matrix of b is equals to this is actually what it is this is a i j of order 3 by 3 whereas cofactor matrix will be having the cofactors of the given elements that is a i j a i j of order 3 by 3 that is a11 this is a small a means elements capital a means cofactors a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 i hope this is clear given matrix for that how you find the cofactor matrix first to find the cofactors then replace the elements by its cofactors then that matrix is called as cofactor matrix next let me come to the adjoint matrix what do you mean by adjoint matrix that is the transpose of a cofactor matrix transpose of a cofactor matrix is called as adjoint matrix so adjoint matrix what is adjoint matrix transpose transpose of a cofactor matrix transpose of a cofactor matrix is called adjoint matrix it is denoted by it is denoted by adjoint of whatever the given matrix so let me say it adjoint a now if cofactor matrix cofactor matrix what is cofactor matrix cofactor of a that is cofactor matrix of a we can write only cofactor matrix of a is equals to a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a34 a35 a36 a37 is the cofactor matrix of all we are having the cofactors then what is adjoint adjoint a 
is equals to cofactor of E whole transpose. So that is equals to now see transpose means rows writing as columns or columns writing as rows. Now let me write rows as columns. So instead of writing A11, 12, 13, I will write vertically A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. So this is a joint matrix. Now I hope it is clear for you cofactor matrix and a joint matrix. Cofactor matrix means replace the elements as it is by its cofactors. Adjoint matrix is take the transpose of the cofactor matrix. When it is asked to find out the adjoint A, when it is asked to find the adjoint of A, you are having two procedures. One, find the cofactors, then find the adjoint of this cofactor matrix. Then you write a joint matrix. Or you can write directly finding the cofactors. Therefore, a joint A is equals to, if you know this pattern, without writing the cofactor matrix, straight away also you can write the joint matrix. I hope this is clear to everybody. Next, let me come to the properties. That is. Property one A into if you multiply a matrix with its adjoint A, A into adjoint A is equals to adjoint A into A is equals to that A into I. Property two. Determinant of the product of two matrices is equals to determinant of A into determinant of B. Property three is determinant of A into adjoint A is equals to determinant of adjoint A into A is equals to determinant of that A. Into I, so I am applying determinant on both the sides. So which implies now you can see from this determinant of A into B is nothing but del A into del adjoint A is equals to both are same, both are same. Now I come here. We know that determinant of K into A is equals to K to the power of n into del A. Into the power of n into del a. Now del a is a constant here, so del a to the power of n into del i, which implies del a into del adjoint a is equal to del a to the power of n because determinant of unit matrix is always one. So this is one result. Or the same thing we can write as determinant of adjoint A is equals to when you bring this one by determinant of A. Determinant of A to the power of n by determinant of A. A to the power of m by A to the power of n is equals to A to the power of m minus n. So this becomes del A to the power of n minus one. So I hope this is clear to everybody. Next. So we have seen cofactor matrix or joint matrix. Then properties A into a joint A into is equals to a joint A into A is equals to that A into I. That A B is equals to that A into that B. And the determinant of a joint A is equals to that A to the power of n minus one. Next, let me come to the singular and non-singular. Matrices. What do you mean by singular matrix, and what do you mean by non-singular matrix? First one, singular matrix. 
ये स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ये स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ई से टू बी ई से टू बी सिंगुलर इफ डेट ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ डेट ए इज जीरो देन दैट स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स इज कॉल्ड एस सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स देन नॉन सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स नॉन सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स ये स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ये स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स इज से टू बी नॉन सिंगुलर नॉन सिंगुलर इफ डेट ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर अबाउट द सिंगुलर एंड नॉन सिंगुलर नेक्स्ट ये मैट्रिक्स ये मैट्रिक्स इज से टू हाउ इनवर्स इज से टू प्रोसेस इट्स इनवर्स देन द मैट्रिक्स कंपल्सरी इट मस्ट बी नॉन सिंगुलर और फॉर द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द इनवर्स ऑफ ए स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स द गिवन मैट्रिक्स मस्ट बी नॉन सिंगुलर सो द नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज Inverse of a matrix. So for the first condition is what to exist inverse of a matrix. It must be it must be non singular. Then. This is the condition. Then what is the inverse? What is the inverse of a matrix? That is, let me see. Now this is all I am proving here. Not simply I am giving the formula. Just I am proving. What is that is? We know that A into adjoint A is equals to adjoint A into A is equals to dot A into I. Dividing throughout, dividing throughout by del A, we get A into one by del A. Into our joint A is equal to one by del A into our joint A into A is equal to del A by del A into I. I am dividing throughout by del A. Now del A del A gets cancelled, which implies A into one by del A. Into a joint A is equal to one by the A into a joint A into A is equal to one, which is of the form A into B is equal to B into A is equal to I. In the last chapter itself, we know that if A into B is equal to B into A is equal to I, then A is called invertible matrix. And B is the inverse of A. So I hope it is clear to everybody. Now B is inverse of the given matrix. But what is B? So B is nothing but one by del A into a joint A. So therefore B is equal to therefore B is inverse of A. That is B is equals to A inverse is equals to what is this? Is nothing but one by that A into a joint A. So I hope it is clear how you are getting the formula. So the A inverse. How you find the A inverse? One by that A into a joint A. Next one. Small technique that is note to find 
Change the diagonal for the rest elements, change the sign. That's all only. So, nothing to explain there. So, you can do it off very quickly. Next, come to the second problem. So, when it is 3 by 3 matrix, compulsorily you have to find out the cofactors. Then, each choice is yours. Either you can write cofactors, then you can come to a joint. Or directly a joint matrix also can be written. Now let me find out cofactors. When you are finding the cofactors, follow the procedure systematically. Don't do as you wish. So just observe how I am doing. You try to follow the same technique so that nobody will commit mistake. Now how it is? So A11 is equals to that is cofactor you are finding the cofactor minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 1 by leaving the corresponding row corresponding column 3 5 0 1 that is equals to minus 1 whole square is positive this is nothing but 3 minus 0 is equals to 3 next a12. How do you find out the A12? That is cofactor minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 2 into determinant by leaving the corresponding row and the corresponding column 2, 5, minus 2, 1. This is minus 1 whole cube odd power is minus. This is 2 minus into minus plus 5 to the 10. I hope this is clear. 
minus 2 minus 5 twos are 10, 2 plus 10 which is equals to minus 12. Next, a13 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 3 into that by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column 2, 3, minus 2, 0. This is minus 1 to the power of even power is plus. So this is 0 minus or minus plus 6 is equals to 6. So I have written in order first row as first row cofactor, cofactor elements. Next, in the same way, come to second row elements, find the cofactors. That is a12 is equals to now let me go a little bit quick a12 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 2 multiplied by the determinant by leaving the corresponding row I'm sorry this is 2 1 2 plus 1 by leaving the corresponding row corresponding column minus 1 2 0 1 this is minus 1 to the or or this is minus 1 which is equals to 1. Next, a 2 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 2 into that because we have done so many problems on this plus 2 is equal to I am going first. So by getting the corresponding row, corresponding column 1 2 minus 2 1. So minus 1 to the power of 4 is positive. This is 1 plus 4 is equals to 5. Next, a 2 3 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 3 into by leaving the corresponding row corresponding column 1 minus 1 minus 2 0 this is minus 0 minus 2 this is nothing but 2 next a 3 1 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 by leaving the corresponding row corresponding column minus 1 2 3 1 this is minus 1 to the power of even power. So this is minus 5 minus 6 is nothing but minus 11. A 3 2 minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column 1, 2, 2, 5. This is minus 5 minus 4 is nothing but minus 1. Next, A 3 3 is equal to minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 3 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column 1, minus 1, 2, 3. So minus 1 to the power of even power is positive. Therefore, this is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. When you are doing, try to follow the same pattern. First row as it is first row. Second row as it is second row. Third row as it is third row. If you do like this, you will not commit any mistake. <laughs> any mistake. Otherwise what happens? You are doing vertically or hazardously just for picking. What is that picking? And by writing, 100% will commit the mistakes. If you do like this, it is like a matrix only. As it is, we can substitute the cofactors. Now, Either we have to write cofactors, then we have to write the joint, or shall we write the joint matrix directly? It is up to your choice. I am giving to you only. Now I am writing a joint matrix directly. So what is a joint matrix? A joint A is equals to. Can you recall? A one 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 two instead of the transpose. A one two. A one three. A two one. A two two. A two three. A31, A32, A33. That is equals to. Now see the values. A11 is 3, minus 12, 6. Next, second row. Write the second column. 1, 5, 2. Third row. Minus 11, minus 1, 5. That's all. It become very simple. Find the cofactors in systematic way. Then writing the adjoint A, you can do directly, or you can write the cofactors. Then you can write the adjoint. This choice I am giving to you only. I hope it is clear to everybody. Next.
Now let me proceed to the next model that is verify A into adjoint A is equals to adjoint A into A is equals to that A I. Now third and fourth two problems are given here. So fourth problem is of order 3 by 3. So I have done second problem how to find the adjoint A. Now let me take 2 by 2 matrix. Now for 2 by 2 matrix I have to find out adjoint A. Then I have to see the property that is A into adjoint A is equals to adjoint A into A is equals to that A into I. Is it true or not? Now for this what is required? Adjoint A. What is adjoint A? It is 2 by 2. Next change the diagonal elements. Minus 6, 2. Change the sign of the rest elements. Minus 3, plus 4. That's all. And one more thing is needed for us. What is that? Det A. What is det A? Det A is nothing but det 2, 3, minus 4, minus 6. Multiply the main diagonal elements. 2 into minus 6, minus 12, minus of. Multiply the second diagonal. 3 into minus 4 is minus 12. So which is equals to minus 12 plus 12 is equals to 0. So that A value is 0. Now let me count A into adjoint A. First case, let me see A into adjoint A. That is A is 2, 3, minus 4, minus 6 into adjoint A, minus 6, minus 3, 4, 2. Which is equals to... Now let me multiply A into adjoint A. That is 2 into minus 6 minus 12 plus 3 into 4 12. 2 into minus 3 minus 6 plus 3 into 2 6. Minus 4 into minus 6 24. Minus 6 into 4 minus 24. Minus 4 into minus 3 12. Minus 6 into 2 minus 12 is nothing but 0 0. 0, 0. Next, come to the second part is adjoint A into A. That is, the second one is second one is adjoint A into A. That is, adjoint A is minus 6, minus 3, 4, 2 multiplied by A is 2, 3, minus 4, minus 6. That is, minus 6 into 2, minus 12, plus 12. Minus 18, plus 18. 8, minus 8, 12, minus 12, which is also equal to 0. Then third one is, that A into I. That A already we have got 0 into I means is an identity matrix of order 2 by 2. That is 1, 0, 0, 1. It is nothing but 0, 0, 0, 0. So what can you conclude? Therefore, A into adjoint A is equal to adjoint A into A is equal to that A into I. I hope this is clear to everybody. Next, when you come to the fourth one, I am not going to do this because you have to do some of the problems. So, first find out adjoint A. So, in the second problem, I have shown you how to do the adjoint. So, by taking first row cofactors, second row cofactors, third row cofactors, then writing adjoint A. That is the first step. Then, then what you have to do? Then multiply A into adjoint A, what you are getting. Second step, adjoint A into A, what you are getting. The third one, define that A, then that A into unit matrix of order 3 by 3. When you multiply that, are you getting the same or not? 
So just you have to check this one. Next, we proceed to the fifth, that is next model, how to find the inverse of a matrix. So here, I will do 2 by 2 matrix, one problem, 3 by 3 matrix, one problem, I will do it. Find the inverse. What is the inverse of a matrix? 1 by det A into adjoint A. Provided det A is not equals to 0. If that is, if it is non-singular, then only inverse exists. Whenever you are finding the inverse of a square matrix, the first step what you have to do is, you have to find out det A. That is, 2 minus 2, 2, 3, which is equals to 6 minus of minus 8. is nothing but 6 plus 8, 14, which is not equals to 0. When it is equals to 0, we write here itself A inverse does not exist. Since it is not equals to 0, therefore A inverse exists. I hope this is clear to everybody. You have to see that A is not equal to 0. If that A is equal to 0, then we say that we say that A inverse does not exist. If it is not equal to 0, then only A inverse exists. Next, second step. Find adjoint A. How do you find out adjoint A? Since it is a 2 by 2 square matrix, it is very easy. So, by exchanging the diagonal elements and changing the sign of other elements. So, find the adjoint A. Next, third step is A inverse is equals to 1 by the A into adjoint A. That is 1 by 14 into adjoint A is 3, 2, minus 4. I hope this is clear to everybody. Either you can keep like this or you can multiply 3 by 14, 2 by 14, minus 4 by 14, 2 by 14. You can multiply also. I hope this is clear to everybody. Next, let me take a 3 by 3 matrix. Then how do you find out the inverse of a matrix? So, let me take a, the ninth problem. So, whenever you are finding the inverse, first of all, you have to find out the adjoint matrix. So, ninth one. So, let me assume A is equals to. So, why do you take the void and A only? It is just a notation. You take A, you take B, you take C, whatever you want, you can take it. So, I am simply taking A, the given matrix is equals to A. That is 2, 1, 3, 4, minus 1, 0, minus 7, 2, 1. This is the given matrix. You have to find out the inverse of a matrix. For that what we have to do first? First step is, what is the first step? First step is, you have to find out the determinant. That is, that 2, 1, 3, 4, minus 1, 0, minus 7, 2, 1. By expanding, by expanding through either R1 or R2 or R3, your choice. R1, we get, this is plus, minus, plus. This is 2 into, by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, minus 1, 0, 2, 1. Minus 1 into, by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 4, 0, minus 7, 1. Plus 3 into, by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 4, minus 1, minus 7, 2. Which is 2 into, minus 1, minus 0, minus 1 into, 4 minus 0 plus 3 into 4 2 are 8 minus minus into minus plus that is minus into plus is minus 7 which is equals to minus 2 minus 4 3 into 1 is plus 3 is equals to this is minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 which is 
not equals to 0. Therefore, A inverse exists. I hope this is clear to you. Now, just I am noting down. So, that the A is equals to minus 3. What is the next step? You have to find out the adjoint matrix. So, you have to follow the same procedure. Now, how fast you do the calculations, it depends upon you only. Next is, second step, finding the adjoint A. Second step is, to find adjoint A. So, for that, first one, A11 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 1 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, minus 1, 0, 2, 1, this is nothing but minus 1. Next, A12 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 2 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 4, 0, minus 7, 1, this is minus 4. A13 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 3 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 4 minus 1, minus 7, 2. This is plus 8 minus 7 is equals to 1. I hope you are understanding this. Next, A21 is equals to minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 1 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 1, 3, 2, 1. This is R power, so it is minus, this is 1 minus 6, so minus 5 is nothing but plus 5. A22 two two minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 2 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 2, 3, minus 7, 1. Since it is even power, positive, this is 2 plus 21, am I right? 2 minus into minus plus 21 is equals to 23. Next, A23 minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 3 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column 2, 1, minus 7, 2. So, since it is minus, this is 4 minus of minus. This is plus 7, which is equal to minus 11. Next, A31 is equal to minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 into that by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 1, 3, minus 1, 0. Since it is even power, this is 0, minus, minus 3, is nothing but plus 3. A, 3, 2, is equal to minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2, by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 2, 3, 4, 0. This is odd power, so minus of 0, minus 12. So, it is equal to 12. Next, A33 is equal to minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 3 by leaving the corresponding row, corresponding column, 4 minus 1. This is even power. So, this is minus 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 6. So, I hope it is clear to everybody. Now, this is adjoint A is equal to, now I am not writing A11 under. So, first row as first column. So, first row as first column. Second row as second column. Third row as third column. So, if you want, you write first the cofactors. Transpose, you write or join A, then you substitute the elements. Now, step 2 is over. Then, last step. What is the last step? That is, A inverse is equals to 1 by del A into a giant A. Step 3. Therefore, A inverse is equals to 1 by del A into a giant A. 1 by del A is 1 by minus 3 into a giant A minus 1, 5, 3, minus 4, 23, 12, 1, minus 11, minus 6, which is equal to 1 by 3, minus 5 by 3, minus 1, 4 by 3, minus 23 by 3, this is minus 4, minus 1 by 3, 11 by 3, this is, so this is the inverse of a matrix. 
So thank you. The rest of the problems let me see in the next session.